Bergrat, and then we have Kingsley Schindler from Samsung Sport. In the midfield, <coughs> we have um, Mohamed Kudus from Western United, we have Abu Francis from Saint Le Bruges, um, we have Thomas Parker from Arsenal FC, we have Elijah Wilson from AG Oxer, we have Majid Ashimero from RC Anderlecht. And uh, last but not least, uh, the forwards, uh, we have Abdul Fatal Mishiraku from Leicester City, we have uh, Joseph Pencil from, L from LA Galaxy, we have uh, Ibrahim Osman from Feyenoord Rotterdam, we have Antoine Semenyo from uh, AFC Bournemouth, we have Inyaki Williams from Athletic Bilbao, uh, we have Jordan Ayu, uh, has now changed to Leicester City, uh, and Brendan Thomas Asante from Carpentry City. Um, I would like to hand over to uh, Mr. Henry Asante to just give you some updates on injury um, on players who couldn't come due to injuries. Thank you very much. So uh, the players are 23. Um, some of them couldn't make the squad because of uh, various injuries. The first one is Salis Abdul Samet. He has a muscle injury. Patrick Pfeiffer, um, also a muscle injury. Gideon Mensa has a muscle tear. Ernest Noama has an inflammation, so he couldn't make the squad. Kamal Dean Suleimana, ankle injury. And then Ibrahim Suleimana, twisted ankle, so he couldn't also make the squad. Ladies and gentlemen, let's not forget that Joseph Edu, who got injured somewhere last um, year before the Africa Cup of Nations, um, is now on his way back to full recovery. He's involved in team training at Celta Vigo, but he's not uh, much fit because of that. That the uh, technical staff decided to leave him out of this squad. Also, Daniel Kovicha has been injured for a quite a long time. He's also now on his way back to full fitness, for which reason he was left out of the squad. So that's my way of um, updates on injuries and reasons why these key players were left out. Thank you. At this if I'm convinced, I can bring a player back. This is it's no problem. At the moment, this is the, the status, and I would never keep a, a, a player. Like I said, I try always to be respectful with, my, with the players, and, and even those who are not being called, I call them myself to talk about it and tell them the reason why. So the, the word or the term kick out, I, I don't think we should use it. But like I said, so this is the actual status. We are in, 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 in contact with all the players, and um, the door is never closed. Never. Because if the performance is outrageous, surely we will want the best players to play. Okay? And then there was a question about Boston and Mokwa. Um, yeah, he injured himself in the last game, but um, someone has coach Joseph Lauman is in contact with him. Um, I think he did well. Um, he didn't play too much, too long in the last um, part of the season. But now I think he's doing really well. We are close Ireland, and um, our decision was that he would be on standby this time. But maybe he will come next time. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I think he's, like you said, he has a good start. And um, um, it was a close decision. You know. like, like I said, and I said again, for me, it doesn't matter what I play. Um, I remember when I was uh, assistant coach, Patao Shuaku was playing a second division and he called for the national team. And I, in discussion with the coach, um, um, also played for Patao to stay in the team. So for me, like I said, it doesn't matter where you play. If the performance is good, it's there. So, and, and all the players always you have to think about Whatever which player you mention, you have to think about, if I call one of those players, you have to think about, is he better than one of the players we called? You know? So this is, this is the question, not like, why you leave them out? You know? And I know that if I would bring them, you would ask me of one of those players who are on the squad, why are they left out? So I know it's your job, and you have to ask, and I respect that, but the truth is, like, I always try to get the best team. 
on which I think we can win. That's all. If they play wherever they play, it doesn't matter. Coach, I mean, I know you've spoken about the great thing about the mixed nice go back. That's my question, please. Um, the last time that one came here for the World Cup call, you explained or you told the media that you've spoken to him or you had a discussion with him and he understood the reason why he's not coming back. But then we've seen what is happening specifically, please, with Chelsea, what between Enzo Marriage and Chihuahua and his thing. I just want to ask, can you please, or should we conclude? Because Andre has been in a situation where he was not playing or having a club, but then he, came, he joined the team. He's been out. Can we conclude that due to your playing philosophy, you don't think he's that kind of player that you want? That's one. And also, uh, do you think, I mean, I, I just want to find out why is Osman Bukhari? And Barbara Man was on the squad because Osman Bukhari went to MLS M uh, MLS and he scored over the weekend. Barbara Man, can you please give us in the other because he's also playing actively? Thank you. I think to be honest, we can name so many players and we can talk the whole night about players and reasoning. And I talk to the players. Like those players who are left out, I talk to them. I think it's it's an internal talk when I talk to Osman Bukhari, I explain things to them. And, and that's the job of the coach. And um, I know that you would ask me now if you would say that it would be him and, and Joseph Pence would not be him, you would ask me about Joseph Pence, you know. So I know this is your job. But there's nothing I can do. I have to decide. And I think these are the, the players which I think are best. And I think the personal conversation between me and the players, I would never, and I said that last time, I would never bring it out. Public, you know? If the player decides to do so, it's, it's on them, but I won't we'll do that. And it's a private conversation, and I try to give you an explanation about how we, we think and what, what we want to do, and about what our decision is. We did last time, and I hope that the Baba one day will decide to play at the moment he does not play. Goals for the other 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 goals for the
Um, we, I think the first time I, 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 I was a kid as a head coach in 22, before we played against Nigeria, I was after them. I was after them, and they said they needed time, time, time. And um, now they're still not here, so but they don't say it. It's just like, to be honest, um, I think players who want to join the national team should come quite early to get familiar with me, with the team, with, the, with, the, with their players, with, with Ghana and such, and, and not for them. This one, I think, this is the only point where I say doors close. If somebody comes and just before the World Cup, I want to join the team, this is not possible. I, don't, I, don't, I think it won't be fair. But before that, they have my number, I call them, I text them several times, so they are always ready. Three, three more questions. Okay, coach, good afternoon. Coach, good afternoon. Okay, I'm here. Oh, yeah. Gabriela, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> okay, coach, um, thank you for the opportunity. I have problem with the goalkeeping department, especially um, Frederick Asari. Yes, sir. For one way or the other, or a reason, he should have even been the number one. But the reference are. my problem is with Frederick Asari. I've seen Kofi Bar of Samates and uh, Daniel Afaju of Insua Tremai. They've been playing consistently in the Champions League and the CAF configurations. And if you look at uh, their records, they've kept clean sheets. And I know Frederick Asari is playing pre-season and ceremonial matches. So if someone were to be married for the national program, certainly not Frederick Asari. Or is it because Kotoko fans are very loud, so you want to keep them shut? That is why I'm That's my question. He's a, he has a bright future, he's, he's a very good talent, and he did very well. And 
Like I said, if you have a different opinion, it's okay, I respect that. But we have other opinion at the moment. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. My name is George Obuku Kwatu of Learning as Pregnancy of Amuto FM. Coach, my question is very simple. The hope of Ghanaians is to be at the Mundial 2026. Do you believe, in as much as we are thinking about Africa, a lot of Ghanaians are thinking beyond Afcon, that is in the World Cup. Do you believe that you are the right man per your technical and your tactical ability to take Ghana to the next World Cup? People in general are making to take too many steps at, at the time where they should, they should take it one step after another. And it's very important that we focus on the next coming game. And for me, I'm not quick at work at the moment, to be honest. We just spoke to Angola. We have to beat them. It will be very, very difficult. They have a strong squad. And it will be a big, big, big mistake to think about anything else in my position, but also for the players. So I'm really, really I'm sorry, but for, for me, we have to stay one step after the other. We have to qualify for the afternoon first. And this is my aim at the moment, and for this we have to have a good start against Angola. And this is what I'm thinking at the moment and nothing else. So my comment is for the FA and Harry. It is a press conference. We are having a subculture where we have supporters and intruders invading our space. Pressmen are here, we are standing. I don't I know I really wouldn't like that about to see, but I have to see it. Supporters are sitting. This is a press conference. We must do better next time. Thank you very much. GFA has contacted Jade Global Shoki of Isaac Akuma, a Dutch born of Ghanaian descent. Is it true? <laughs> Um, we are focusing on our next game, and one thing you can be sure of every player who's good and has Ghanaian heritage and can, could play for the national team, we will be interested in just in general. You know, this question for you if somebody has a Ghanaian name and he plays in the top leagues in Europe, it's interesting for us. This is for sure. Okay? Thank you. Is there any more questions? So we are done. Take one more. Just one more. Coach, good afternoon. My name is Vincent from Kesben um, I want to ask, do you normally follow the Ghana Premier League? Um, last season, Dreams FC qualifies to the Cup Champions League and then they've even recognized him as the best goalkeeper of the tournament. He's supposed to join the Black Stars, the last call up is you did not call him. Though this year he's, we've heard that he's injured. Um, if I may ask, last season the Ghana Premier League, who is your best goalkeeper for the Ghana Premier League? <laughs> This is a difficult question, like, as, like, like you said, there, there were many, or I think we said before, there were many good goalkeepers. Um, also, let's say Benjamin Asada to mention one of them, and um, also the good goalkeeper did extremely well. And we discuss it, we always discuss it with our goalkeeper coach, and uh, at the end we take decision. But for us, um, it's not only the courses, maybe unless it's the first goalkeeper, but also, some other positions are not always like like the best at the moment. So we are always looking for long term development and then long term integration of young talented uh, players in general. 
I was smoking. So, like I said before, um, uh, Frederick Asaro is a young talented goalkeeper, and we want to also look a little bit further. So, it's, I think his age gave uh, the last last decision, maybe, in this case, because we know that um, if, we, if we go further, two, three, four years more, and he gets his experience, he will get better. Okay? Uh, I've just been, my attention has been going to something from the supporters union. They say they want to ask a question from the supporters perspective. I don't know which question. This, this is not the forum. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so this is not the forum. Thank Can you I very much. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I think we are done. Uh, we have to wrap up. Let me um, mention that officially we expect the players to start arriving this weekend. They've got matches on Saturday and Sunday. Those who play on Saturday will arrive on Sunday. Those who play on Sunday will arrive on Monday. Hopefully, we shall have a full house Monday evening. The team will travel to Kumasi on Tuesday, um, uh, Tuesday, September 3rd. And then uh, we'll have two training sessions in Kumasi Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday afternoon. And the game is on Thursday. Let me mention that the technical team um, has taken a decision to open the first day training Accra. Um, at 5 p.m. on Monday, the training will be open to the media and the public. That is the first training in Accra. And then when we arrive in Kumasi on Tuesday at 5 p.m. again, we shall have the first training open to the media and the public. But, yes, so, so please, uh, take note of that. Before we go, I would like to um, introduce, we've been joined by the President of the Ghana Football Association and uh, Executive Council members. Mr. President, welcome. Um, the Game Changer. President Ket and Simeon Okreku. We also have um, Executive Council members. <laughs> Thank you.